Hi, I'm Bonnie Parker, head of ARIS at Clayton State University Library. This video is about an introduction to key databases. We're going to be talking about Academic Search Complete, and we're also going to talk about JSTOR. We want to start off by going to clayton.edu slash library, and near the center of the page, let's choose Academic Search Complete. There is a basic box that you can use for searching, or if you would like to define your search a little bit more, you can use the advanced search option. And with this option, you can choose which fields you would like to see your search terms found in, such as author, title, or subject, for example. You can also use Boolean searching by choosing and, or, or not. When you use AND, you are asking for results that include both terms. The OR operator will give results which include one term or the other term, but not necessarily both. Then the NOT operator will exclude a term from your results. Let's do an example of searching for American Revolution. taxes, and we're going to try to find both of these in the title field. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here, and I'm going to choose full text and scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. If I also wanted to change the publication date, I would be able to do that too. I'm going to go back up and do the search. I have used quotation marks around American Revolution to make sure that it was included exactly in the order as I typed it. If you're interested in looking at one of these that's on the screen, all you would have to do is click on the blue link for the article. And you'll see on the left side there is a PDF full text link. So we'll choose that. and it brings up a scanned image that you're able to read on the screen. Now on the right side of the screen, there are a number of choices for delivery of the article. You can print, you can email the article to yourself, and one of the better things that we have available is the citation, everybody likes that one. So you can actually cite the document. They do include APA in Chicago, and if we scroll down, there's also MLA. Now let's go back and let's have a look at JSTOR. JSTOR is found on the main web page, and it's right beside Academic Search Complete. JSTOR is valuable for historical research because it includes documents as far back as the 1600s. I'm going to use advanced search and I'm going to do a search for American Revolution taxes, but I'm going to use the Boolean operator called not. So this is going to give us some results that include American Revolution. I could narrow my search a little bit if I wanted to, so let me try to narrow it. I'm going to use for the publication date 1775 to 1800 and you saw that pop up automatically because I had already done the search before. It didn't give us any results so I'm just going to go back and tweak this a little bit. We'll use all fields instead of title and we have 10 results. So this results list gives articles which include American Revolution, but not necessarily taxes. Choosing a title link from any of these will bring up the full text. And you can see the PDF form on here. 
there is an option to download the PDF on the upper right side. And there's also an option for citing on the left side. Cite this item will give citations in APA, MLA, and Chicago formats. Now you know about Academic Search Complete and JSTOR, but if you need to do additional research, go to the main library page and search the Galileo box that's in the center of the page. I'm going to choose Full Text and Peer Reviewed, and I'm going to do a search for American Revolution. Now this search box allows you to search over 200 resources at one time. And once you come to the landing page, you can go into advanced search if you'd like to tweak this a little bit. I'm going to use title for that. I'm going to use the Boolean operator or, and then I'm going to use the word taxes. And I'm going to search. This is going to give me results which include American Revolution or taxes, but not necessarily both. You can refine your results on the left side. If you're interested in looking at any of these articles, you can just click on the link. You're going to see that this interface looks an awful lot like Academic Search Complete. You can email your article, print it, save it, cite it, export it, share it. You have a lot of different options here. Now you have several ways to find articles and documents for your research. If you need further help, we do have a chat feature on the main library webpage. It's called Ask a Librarian. And you also can contact us. The reference desk number is 678-466-4346.